information. Its potential is awesome. And so how you gather it, and how you organize it, and how you use it can very well make the difference between business as usual and unusually good business. And that's where we can help. We're Bell Atlantic, a family of communications companies. We provide local telephone service and mobile communication systems. We offer computers and computer service. We install and maintain business communication systems. We lease, we finance. And together with your communications people, we can provide all the experience, resources, and insight you need to take advantage of today's state-of-the-art systems. Because it is our unique ability to manage these technologies that can put the full power of information within your grasp. The companies of Bell Atlantic, we make technology work for you. Every murder has its master and its mistress. Macbeth. And two reasons you should see it now. Christopher Plummer and Glenda Jackson. Macbeth. At the Benedum Center through March 6th. Call 456-6666 today for a night to remember tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. A multi-port fuel-injected V6 engine, four-wheel independent suspension, an aerodynamic style even the wind can't resist. In short, the new Cutlass Supreme is not your father's Oldsmobile. See your super grand old gang for a test drive today. Some of the people who will sing and dance in the Civic Light Opera next summer were in town today trying out for the jobs. This is the weekend of final auditions for the CLO season at the Benetton Center. These are the people who made it through the first round of auditions of 500 people last weekend. They came from as far away as Florida and New York and Ohio to try for a spot in the musicals. The season will kick off on June 14th with the show Grover's Corners. The Children's Festival Chorus and Junior Mendelssohn Choir sang in a free demonstration concert today in Pittsburgh. This was a chance to hear a training demonstration and to hear a first-rate choral performance. These are some of the most promising young voices in Pittsburgh. And finally tonight, when the Soviet and American wrestling teams ended a three-day series of exhibition matches in Florida last November, they left with 27 towels from the Holiday Inn where they stayed. Now the motel is billing the Pensacola Escambia Sports Organizing Committee $37.50 for the missing towels. A Florida columnist doesn't think the committee should have to pay, so he's asking readers to donate any Holiday Inn towels they might have lying around so the Soviet wrestlers can keep their souvenirs. Probably hard to come by in the Soviet Union. <laughs> yes, I, I imagine so. That's our late report of Action News. Thanks for being with us. ABC's coverage of the Winter Olympics is coming up next. We'll be back tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. Have a great night, everybody. Good night. News is a presentation of WTAE-TV News.